Marvel Fast Signs family, Catherine Monson here. It is the beginning of April, and it seems like the last two or three weeks of March have been the longest weeks of ever, right? It's been a crazy, crazy time as we're all facing COVID-19. And I was been thinking the last couple nights as I'm laying in bed, starting to fall asleep, and I've been thinking about courage. And what we all need right now is to find that courage in ourselves to keep persevering and to keep keeping on. And you know, I've been a big believer in collecting quotes. I collect lots of quotes. And so I started to look through my quotes that specifically had to do with courage. And there are so many of them. And they really filled my soul and made me feel more courageous to be a great leader and to make a difference. And so one comes from Nelson Mandela. And he said, courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers the fear. I've caught myself in the last handful of days feeling fearful for a brief amount of time. And what I've told myself is I just need to push through it. I need to conquer it. I need to get past it. Now, in the first video I sent you three weeks ago, I talked about faking it till you make it or acting brave or acting courageous. And when you do those things, you actually kind of get the same result as being courageous or being brave. And so I'm going to continue to work every day to conquer whatever fear that I have. Oliver Wendell Holmes said, have the courage to act instead of react. What we need to do right now as leaders in our family and more important as leaders in our business is have the courage to act, to make progress, to make the best decision we can at the time with the information we have. The information we have today may be different than the information we have in four weeks, but what matters is that we act, not react. We make sound decisions based on the information we have and do what's best for our families, for our businesses, for our teams. Another great quote, don't be afraid of your fears. They're not there to scare you. They're there to let you know that something is worth it. So I know many of you have been feeling fearful about, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my fast lines business. I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to keep the doors open. That fear is telling you how important your fast lines business is to you. So the fear is there to tell you it's important. And because it's important and because we're leaders and because we want to do a great job, we've got to have that courage and move forward. Uh, Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher born in 384 BC. Now, Aristotle studied at the feet of Plato. And then later in Aristotle's life, he tutored Alexander the Great. And one of the things that Aristotle said is you'll never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. So think about that. The second greatest quality of the mind to get anything done is courage. And we need to dig deep. We need to find that courage. Mark Twain said, courage is resistance to fear. It's the mastery of fear. It's not the absence of fear. And that's where this fake it till you make it, act brave really comes in so that we can inspire our teams, inspire our families, inspire our communities so they can look to us as leaders. Napoleon Bonaparte said, courage isn't having the strength to go on. It's going on when you don't have the strength. And I know each and every one of us are at the end of the day or in the middle of the day, we're feeling oh, we don't have anything to go on. We just need to dig deep and just go a little bit further. And we will find if we lead our minds in that direction, our bodies will follow. Ovid, who was a poet in the Roman Empire, said, courage conquers all things. It even gives strength to the body. And oh my God, I have found that. I have found that the more courageous I have been over the last three weeks, the more energy I have. Because I've been able to work until 11, 12 or one in the morning, go to bed, get up at five or six and keep going. Stuff that was never possible for me. So I truly believe Ovid was correct when he says, courage conquers all things. It even gives strength to the body. Because that certainly has been the case for me. Scared is what you're feeling brave is what you're doing. So we need to act strong in spite of the fear. Brave is what you're doing. Scared is what you're feeling. And then it was Theodore Roosevelt who said, believe you can and you're halfway there. And I think that's true. I believe 
that I'm going to be a great leader. I believe I'm going to bring value to my Fast Lines franchisees. I believe the executive team and I and all of our team members are going to provide real value to our Fast Lines franchisees. I believe that the International Franchise Association is going to bring real value to all of franchising during this difficult time. I also believe that you're going to get through this. And what you need to do is get to the point where you believe you're going to get through this. I believe we can get through this. I believe we will get through this. And we need to remember we are all in this together and we need to rely on each other and help each other. And we're here to do that for you. I'm sending you love and positive energy. Thinking of you.